this is going to be a little bit of a uh, how to communicate, whether it's verbally or in writing with a legislator. Now, when I first got in office, 1994, it was pre-internet. And, uh, uh, and so we would get letters from constituents that were typewritten or handwritten. And I had a rule in my office for all my 24 years in office, anybody that would handwrite me, I would write back, handwrite back. I thought it was a very personal kind of feeling to get a real letter from a person or typewritten. Well, then fax machines arrived and my staff of one would go, oh my God, a fax has arrived and brush it over to me. And that was pretty exciting for a few weeks until we realized that was, but then emails came. Well, that's good. We can communicate directly electronically. Well, we all know what happened with email. So what actually matters now is almost full circle back to that personal communication. We understand in office what email blasts are and their views, and we understand that people can form letter things. So if I get, again, two or three real letters from real people and in the state legislature, you know your district and you know your communities, um, that's real. So your letter could start off, dear elected official, I, I'm a voter in your district. If you're of their party, be sure to mention that. Yeah, that happens to be. Uh, and I usually talk to all my family and friends, 10, 20 people uh, regularly about various issues. Already you're sending a signal that this person is connected and I'm going to listen to that because 10 or 20 people of the three or four or five or 8,000 I need to win the primary election is a significant number. Participate as best you can, whatever's comfortable. And here's some options. I'll just tell you the story of a coffee my very first time running. I was kind of an outside candidate. I did win, but these people were hosting the coffee for me. And they sent out hundreds of postcards and I got to this event. I was so excited. Was, but when I got there, it was them. Uh, a couple other people and my wife and me, like six people. And I thought, oh my gosh, there's no way I can win this. But what happened was I kept running into people over the next few weeks who said, oh, I couldn't get to the coffee, but if Don and Tammy are for you, I'm for you. And a lot of times just that kind of communication makes a big difference. So voting, participate in the election process, um, and at the state level, a contribution of 25 or 50 or $75, we remember who that is. It's not like you got to write thousands, that's nice, but some contribution does help money, campaigns cost money. But the other big one is ideas, suggestions, be a resource. I mean, legislators will pretend they know everything about everything and we have stock answers for most of the things, but actually there's a lot of stuff to learn and it's one of the best parts of the job and I'll tell you some stories about that. But when people are elected, they're elected for two years or four years in Maryland, state legislators, all of them, are, we're all elected for four years. So it's a try and build relationship over that four year time. If you kind of communicate with each other and they don't do what you want the first time and you burn the bridge, that, that's not going to work at all. You want to maintain and build a relationship and be a reputable resource because then we will call you. An issue comes up on real estate. I'll be called, might call Jason because that's what he does otherwise. I mean, I, bought, I own a house, but I'm not a real estate expert or an education. If I have a teacher who's been communicating with me, I want to know what's going on in the classroom. So these are the, the kinds of things that you want to do that I've covered. But know your legislators. All our bios are there and a personal connection is good. So maybe you went to Ohio State, your legislator went to Ohio State. Maybe you sing in the church choir. It might be obvious that your legislator uh, church choir, uh, sings in a church choir. You coach soccer, they coach soccer. Whatever it is that you could connect with in addition to your mission, message. And also, if your legislator happens to do something that you like, even if it's not the issue you're contacting them about, you can say, thank you very much for taking the lead on, on this issue about something. I want to write to you about something else, but I really appreciate that you did that. And we're like everybody else. We like praise. Now, we understand you run for office, you get a big target on you. People can say and do anything and attack you, and that's part of the price you pay for public life, uh, that's okay. But if you really wanna connect with people, uh, that's a good way to do it. Know the timing. Most legislative sessions, again, start in the winter. So you wanna start communicating with folks in the fall, building some education. And you may not get everything that you like, so take what you can get and move on.